So there was a, a boy. His father told him to go to sleep and he, he went to sleep and he wanted to get some water. So he woke up and the living room was dark. So he started walking through the living room and he saw the TV was on and it was a show he liked. So he stopped and he looked at the TV for a little bit and he was watching it and he's like, oh, that's funny. And so he's watching for a couple of minutes. But what he didn't realize is that his dad was back behind him. So he's standing between his dad and the TV and his dad was on his fourth beer. And his dad said, you know, man, I'm going to give that him 10, 10 seconds to move. If he doesn't move and then he doesn't move. So the dad gets up and he slaps him in the back of the head and says, what are you doing, stupid? You're supposed to be in bed. So you're in the way. You're just worthless. Mm -hmm. So the boy is shocked and he's scared. He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, what happened? You know, he didn't realize his father was there. He's, he's frightened. He's scared. His, his heart starts speeding up. He's breathing heavy. He's cl he clenches his fists. And so now he internalizes that. So now whenever someone comes up from behind him, he has a reaction. Or whenever someone is blocking the TV for him or he thinks he's blocking the TV for someone else or someone calls him stupid, he blows up. Or someone says he's worthless or someone tells him he's in the way or someone that looks like his father, he gets triggered. And now he goes to work. He goes to work and he's working on a report. And his boss tells him, hey, welcome, Steve. Welcome, Steve. His boss tells him, uh, you know, he has a report due and, he, and he, get, he turns a report in. He's been working on it for a week. And his boss tells him, hey, this is worthless. And so now that triggers him. So he blows up. You know, he throws his desk over. What do you mean it's worthless? You know, I worked so hard on this. And he goes home. But, but he, think, he thinks he's mad at his boss. But he's actually still also mad at his father who called him worthless when he was little. So he goes home and he tells his wife about it. He says, I can't believe, you know, he didn't like my report. I worked on it so hard. And he said I was in the way. He thinks I'm stupid. He thinks I'm in the way. And so the, and he's telling his wife about it. But then his wife is cooking. She's trying to get the, the meal ready for the family. And he so he keeps talking and talking and says he thinks I'm in the way. And she's like, well, right now you're kind of in the way a little bit. And he's like, what? You think I'm in the way, too? You think I'm stupid. You think I'm worthless. And so now he's mad at his wife, but or is he mad at his boss? But he's really mad at his father because he never healed from that incident. And so now he goes to watch TV after having a couple of beers. And now his kid gets, you know, gets in front of him in the TV and he goes and slaps him in the back of the head and calls him stupid. And he's like, oh, I said I would never do that. And so now, you know, was he mad at his kid? Was he mad at his wife? Was he mad at his boss? You know, he's, he's mad, you know, he's still triggered from not healing from the incident that happened from his dad when he was young. So, so, so we can be triggered by something that happened previously, even something that happened in childhood if we haven't forgiven, if we haven't forgiven the person yet from, for that. And so we can trans, transfer our anger to the person who's in front of us. So we're, we're mad at, so the person may have done something wrong in front of us, but we're madder than we really should be for what just happened here because we're really mad at something that happened before. You know, we haven't healed from something that happened before.